Begin your day by placing God at the forefront of your life. Start each morning with Him, walk with Him, talk with Him, and abide in His presence throughout the day. Always conclude your day in communion with God. The central theme as inspired by Psalm 91 is to dwell in His protective shadow. To dwell means to remain steadfastly, to abide continually in His presence, in prayer, and in unwavering faith. May the peace of God embrace you warmly, and I want to personally welcome you to the Holy Book Channel. It's a pleasure to have you here as a part of our community of believers. If you resonate with this prayer, please take a moment to express your agreement by commenting, Amen. Feel free to share your prayer requests and your thoughts in the comments too. This way we can come together in prayer and support. Your likes mean a lot to us, as they play a crucial role in helping this prayer reach more individuals who might find solace in it. If you haven't already, I encourage you to consider subscribing to the Holy Book channel. By doing so, you can receive daily prayers and enriching spiritual content. Let's continue to nurture our faith and stand by each other on our shared journey with God. Thank you, and may God pour His abundant blessings upon you personally. Psalm 91, 1 states, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. To dwell is to establish a permanent residence in God, to persist and endure under His protective shadow. Essentially, those who make God their permanent dwelling place shall remain perpetually under His protective covering. Being under the shadow of God means being sheltered, safeguarded, and protected by His omnipotence. What adversities can harm you while you are under God's protective shadow? What troubles can disturb you? What anxieties can trouble you? What maladies can afflict you when you are under the shadow of the Almighty? Some may seek refuge in fortified bunkers while others may turn to tall, sturdy buildings. Still, some may prefer the security of their homes, locking doors and windows and setting alarms. However, I urge you to continually dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. Seek refuge in God, run to Jesus, and find safety, security, protection, and preservation in His shadow alone. When life's challenges bring intense heat, turn to God, kneel in prayer, persist in prayer, remain in His presence, and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Before we conclude in prayer, take a moment to reflect on your life. What consumes your thoughts? Are you dwelling on the what-ifs of this world? What if I could accomplish this? What if I had never done that? Are you focused on the past? Do you wrestle with worry? Or is a particular problem dominating your mind today? What occupies your thoughts? If it is not God Almighty, if you are not dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, I implore you to come to the Lord, seek refuge in Jesus, and establish a permanent residence under the shadow of the Almighty. With this understanding, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for all those who hear my words, that they may be drawn into your presence and seek shelter in your secret place, just as Psalm 91 encourages us. May each man and woman listening today be encompassed, defended, secured, protected, and concealed beneath your shadow. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will remain hidden from the sight of evil. May the devil find no access to them or their families because the Almighty God safeguards them. May they find the Lord as their sanctuary, a peaceful refuge where God's presence resides in their homes, hearts, and minds. I pray for every believer joining me in agreement. When life's storms seem endless, grant them supernatural strength, Lord. Even if the enemy seeks to rob them of joy, may he falter and be vanquished by the angel of the Lord, who encamps around those who fear him. Lord, instill tranquility in their thoughts. May overwhelming peace and divine joy reign at the core of their hearts. For those troubled, calm their spirits. I declare that their souls are well, their homes are well, and their lives are well. They are in a state of well-being, children of God. Grant them the Holy Spirit's boldness and courage. May they stand unwavering in faith, free from fear in every aspect of their lives. Let worry and anxiety find no place in their existence in Jesus' name. We declare your word. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Trusting that victory over mountains and giants is assured through your power, Lord. We thank you for the strength provided by your blood, enabling us to overcome daily challenges, experience daily blessings, and awaken each day in your grace and mercies. Each moment, we choose to trust in you. You sacrificed your life on the cross to set us free. Psalm 91, 2 declares, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. 
We confidently proclaim this truth in our lives as believers in Jesus Christ. God is our refuge, our hiding place. We bestow honor, glory, and praise upon your name, Lord. In Jeremiah 17, 7, it is written, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. We affirm and decree this promise. We are blessed because our trust rests in the Lord. Trusting in you, Lord Jesus, makes us like trees planted by waters, unafraid in times of trouble, unwavering even in drought, and continually bearing fruit. May the tempestuous winds and rains come, for we shall find shelter in our Savior. Thunder may roar and lightning may flash, but we remain at peace, enveloped by the Almighty Lord. May every step we take be divinely guided as we surrender to your plans. Extend your mercy to us, Lord Jesus. Provide a shelter in your love where fear, pain, and sorrow have no place. Your perfect love banishes all negativity and draining influences. We place our trust in you and our trust remains steadfast. Psalm 91 assures us that we need not fear the perils of night, the arrows of the day, or the plagues of darkness. We are protected by your grace even when we do not deserve it. Lord, take charge of our lives, for without you, we are lost and despondent. Yet with you, we are cherished, shielded, forgiven, and redeemed. We offer praise to your name, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. None compare to you throughout the universe. You alone are the ultimate healer, the ultimate deliverer, and the ultimate savior. You are holy, awesome, mighty, and magnificent. As we conclude this prayer, we ask for your grace to prevail in every heart and mind. In Jesus' name, amen. We extend a warm invitation to become a part of our community of believers by sharing your amen in the comments to confirm your agreement with this prayer. You're also welcome to openly express your prayer requests and reflections, enabling us to stand united in prayer. Your likes and subscriptions hold significant value for us as they enable us to share these messages of faith with those who may find comfort in them. Let's persist in nurturing our faith and providing unwavering support to one another throughout our spiritual journey. We extend our heartfelt gratitude and may God shower His abundant blessings upon you.